I'm Grace, and welcome to the GRI Group. As you can see here, we are doing some background research. During background research, you must know where to dig, what you're looking for, and how to find it. This step requires you to find out as much information as you can before any digging takes place. This step is important because if we didn't know where to dig, how to dig, or what to dig, it would make it very difficult to find what you're looking for. But where are we digging today? Today we are digging in Luxor, Egypt. What are we digging for? We are looking for Ramses II's tomb and any other artifacts buried along with it. How are we going to dig it up? We will use a special brush used for slow and careful digging. Hi, I'm Cam. The second step of the archaeological method is the excavation process. The excavation process is when you first start to dig. Before you start to dig, you need a permit so that you are allowed to dig on the land. After you get your permit, you need to make sure that the spot you are going to dig at is safe. Every person from your team needs a clearly defined role. Also, you're going to need a grid plan so that if you find something, you can document where and when you find it. One tool that you would use is a brush. You guys, look at these pieces of pottery I found and all these coins inside. I found the Babu symbol schematic, which is a blueprint of Ramses II's tomb. Whoa, I found the pyramid. I found the model of an Anubis, which is the statue of the god of death. Analyzing artifacts or discoveries means spending a lot of time in the lab for archaeologists. Each hour they spend excavating their artifacts, they will spend 10 hours going over them in the lab. Analyzing is when an archaeologist keeps going over their artifacts to see something they miss. For instance, Sam, what's this object? It's a model of a mummy. Katarina, how old would you say it is? I would say about 4,000 years old. Grace, what, would, what do you think it's made of? Clay, mud, and paper. The archaeological method is publication. When we finish our analysis, we're going to document our findings. This means we make a written record of what we found. Next, we're going to publicize our findings, meaning show it to the world. We'll publicize the staff because we think that it might be Ramses II's actual staff. This process flows into what we need to do to complete this step. The last part of publication is contributing our findings. We have to figure out if our findings can make a difference in the world, and if so, how is it going to contribute to the world? We are now in the preservation room where we will preserve our findings. We preserve our findings so that we can go back and correct our mistakes. We also do this so we can learn even more when we have more ways to analyze it. Right now, Grace is wrapping up a mummy we found, and Cameron is carefully wrapping up the legendary Pharaoh's crook and file. Until next time, the GI group.